Is there such a thing as a fallen angel or is that just a human fear story? I would say that that's a misunderstanding of dimensions. And let me, let me clarify that. So within the dimensional spectrum of experience and as I speak of dimension, I speak of vibrational capacity. There are those angels that have been assigned the role or were asked to lower themselves in a vibrational capacity to buffer the Archon. Oh. And so they lowered themselves to be of service as a counterbalance, as a demarcation, or as a a wall against self-destruction. And so they took on a very difficult role to act as the wall of degradation. It's a very hard role. It's a very hard role. And they took it willingly. And so to the counterpoint of that, those beings are also still having a higher dimensional experience within the higher realms of love. And so they are like human beings experiencing both. They have their own multiple timelines of experience where they have both experiences going on. There's a memory within this body that I, I see of him going into the archangelic realm and a round table of beings. And I'm around that you. round table, around that round table, he sees the being you refer to as Lucifer. And he was surprised by that seeing Lucifer in the angelic realms because of the story of Lucifer that exists in these times. Right. The, the, the fear, uh, the negativity that is associated with that. And so he was being, uh, there was an angel with him that, that had uh, accompanied him. And he asked the question as to, out of surprise, is that Lucifer is a beautiful being, very, very, uh, very attractive being. And what was explained to him is, there is a difference between the human perception and spiritual reality. And so for Lucifer, Lucifer took on a role to be one of the central boundary points to shift the vibrational frequency back towards God, to act as a, as a stop point in the degradation and to reflect that back. So Lucifer, like the term you use, there's other fallen angels, is having the experience of both of being in that lower vibrational experience and having to reflect it back to people and also having the higher vibrational experience that he came from. So he still experienced both, as do the fallen angels that you inquired about. Mm 